All right, all right. Welcome. Today we will be looking into creating a reusable, reusable alert slash prompt. And uh, I'm going to be doing it using Material UI. And uh, I'm going to be pulling in an extra library to show you guys a few things. Okay, so the reason why I'm making this video is because I've created apps in the past where I end up just having a ton of dialogues and I end up having to create the same state over and over again. So it could be like a open state uh, like this that I end up passing down into a dialog. And this dialog needs to have an on close and an open state and also a on submit. So something like this. And uh, yeah, this stuff can just get generalized into one component and hook. And I'm going to show you how in this video. So uh, I'm going to start off by pulling in the dependencies. And uh, I'm just going to pull in the latest version of Material UI. And uh, in addition to that, I'm going to be pulling in Sustand, Sustand, which is a tiny, tiny library for managing state. And um, the reason why I'm pulling it in is because we can make the implementation a little smoother, use, smoother using this library. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how in a moment. So normally, if I were to create a component like this, I would go for a React context and then put the provider somewhere yeah, at the top level. But uh, with Sustand, we can do it a little different, arguably a little more clean, but um, I will let you decide that. So let's start off by creating our component, which I'm just going to call uh, confirm dialog. And now we can close up this and uh, in here we can get started on our component. So I'm just going to start off by um, creating the very basic markup. So let's create our base here and then let's import dialog and let's have a uh, dialog title. And we could just have a default one, or we could customize it to allow people to put in a dialogue title. I'm just going to put in a, a default one here, confirm action. And now I'm going to put in a dialogue content. This is going to create a little bit of padding. In here I'm going to use a dialogue content text component. And here I'm going to show a message and this message is currently not defined because this is one of the things we want to be able to pass into our hook all right so maybe before we continue we should uh, create that hook okay all right with the stand we can create a so-called store which is uh, where we have basically our state and our functions for managing that state. So let me just create that store, how that could look. So I'm just going to call it confirm dialog store. Here I'm going to call create, and that's an import from Sustand. And uh, I'm going to pass in a function here. That takes an argument, I'm just going to call it set. And I'm just going to return an object here directly. And uh, I want to have a piece of state that's called message. And then I want to have an unsubmit that I'm going to initially put to undefined. And then a close function uh, which calls our set and sets on submit to undefined. Okay. So the reason why I'm putting on submit to undefined here is because I'm going to display this dialog based on whether unsubmit is defined or not. Just to 
yeah, minimize the amount of variables I have. Okay, cool. So now I am, after creating this uh, store, I can actually uh, use it as a hook. So instead of call it confirm dialog store, I should actually call it use confirm dialog store. So I'm following the convention of the naming here. So down here, now I can do use confirm dialog store here and destructure out properties. Currently, I'm not getting any suggestions here. Um, and that is the reason is I haven't passed in a type here. So in assistant for the create one, you can pass in generic here. So I'm just gonna define it up here, how my store looks. I have a message, it's a string. I have an up submit handler, which is optional. So it can be undefined. Uh, which is a function that doesn't return anything. Then I have a close function, which is similar to unsubmit, it's just a function, doesn't really return anything. Now I can put that in here. And uh, now I should be able to, let me just hide this one as well. Now I should actually be able to get some values out here. Let's see, yep. Okay, so we have a message now. So now um, this makes sense, right? So now I'm grabbing that message, which is initially empty. I'm putting it here. So I'm also getting a red squiggly here and that's because I didn't define the open property and that's just gonna be uh, set to whether uh, on submit is set to something. Oh, so just to do it proper, I'm gonna just talking out on submit here, also close because we need it later. And then I'm gonna show this dialog if on submit is defined. Okay. Cool stuff. Now I can also pass in on close to just be close here. So if I click anywhere outside of the dialog, it's gonna close. Cool beans, uh, let me finish off this component. So um, at the end, I wanna have some actions here and uh, inside here, I'm gonna have a button. This button's just gonna have the primary color and a contained variant, just to give it a little bit of visibility. And then whenever I click it, I'm gonna call on submit here. And the text for this button is just gonna be yes, because it's gonna be a confirmed dialogue, right? So, do you want to do this? Yes or no? Now I could put another button that says no here, or I could go a little, go for a little bit of a different paradigm that I personally like, and that is to have a cross at the top right. So for that, I can import the box component, pass in position absolute here. Put the top value to zero, the right value to zero. And then inside here, I can render an icon button. And I believe right now I didn't actually, uh, it seems like I have the material UI icons package. I didn't know I actually had that one, but uh, it does seem like I pulled it in when I pulled in the other packages. Okay, that's cool. So let's save that and then attach and unclick here to our icon button and let's put this calling, let's just call close, right? Cool, this looks to be our basic confirmed dialogue. Uh, we're still missing one thing, but uh, let's try to see if we can perhaps render something. So if you jump back to app TSX here, um, let's try to render out confirm dialog. And let's uh, boot up the server. Oops. And that's, since I'm using create react app to boost up this app, um, I have a script in here that says start. So 
I can do yarn start or npm start and uh, it's going to boot up the server. So it seems like we already have something, so I'm just going to say yes here. Alright, that took a little bit to load up, but uh, after the dev server loaded, it should look like this. And uh, certainly right now we don't see our dialogue. If you went in here and set open to just hard code it to true. Uh, we should see it though. Yeah, we see it here. But uh, yeah, since it's always true, nothing really changes here. And uh, it's also a little small, so we probably want to change it a little bit. Anyway, let's change it back here. And let's actually do a little bit of a change here to the size of it. So, in my opinion, it looks a little small. So, uh, let's actually go in here and set the max width to small instead of extra small. And then remember to put on, tag along this full width. Now, if I were to go back to R, if I were to set this open to true, we would get a little bigger one. Looks a little better in my opinion. Okay, cool. Now let's um, let's let's go on to the next thing, which is actually the last thing, and that is uh, basically our export from this component. So it's going to be a function that uh, digs into the store and sets the state. Okay, so I'm going to call this one uh, confirm dialog and uh, I'm expecting that a message can be passed in and an unsubmit handler. Okay, and uh, in here I'm going to grab use confirm dialog store and then I'm going to access one of these uh, very neat um, helper utility functions which allow us to basically access this store from the outside. So we have a few different ones here. We have get state but also set state and set state is the one I'm interested in. So here I'm actually gonna set the message to the message up here. This is the same name, I can just shorthand it like this. And the same for unsubmit. Okay. Now I can jump back to AppTSX. I can create a button here that says uh, open dialog. And uh, here I can import my dialog. So Confirm dialog. Yes, here is the function. And now I'm going to pass in my two things here. So my two parameters. The first is message, and it's going to be Are you sure that you'd like to delete this post? Right? And then the function for if I choose yes, uh, I'm going to call it handle submit here. And up here, I'm going to find handle submit to just be a function that logs. OK, perhaps. All right, so let's try to press this dialog. We get this one. We can close it. And we can say yes. And as you see, after I press yes, it doesn't close it. But we do get this OK message. So if I also want to close it on yes, which I think you would like, uh, we need to make sure that in here we not only call unsubmit, but we also call close. OK, so you can actually see inside this uh, confirm dialog, we're actually calling on close in three different places. So defining 
this close function in our store is uh, turned out to be quite neat. Oh, and here it's complaining that uh, it might not be defined, but uh, yeah, let's just uh, do an if statement to get rid of that error. You see the TypeScript. Okay, so now if we're here, we, uh, it is working. And now this is pretty reusable, right? So if I were to create a nested component, uh, let's create a new one, let's call it nested. And here, we might just have some text that says, hey, I'm nested. And perhaps in here we have a delete everything button. And now I could, from this nested component, do a very similar thing where I call confirm dialog. And then pass in a message, testing. And then let's say I pass in an unsubmit here. I'm just going to inline it, which is just logging out. Yikes. Okay. Let's see if, uh, oh, it's not an object, sorry, it's actually two parameters. So let's change a little bit here. Now it should be all right. Uh, remove this. Okay. Should be okay. Cool. Now, now I need to go back to app and then just run out our nested here. And now I can actually, from my nested component, without defining any more state, I can also trigger this dialog. Yeah. And this way we made it reusable. We can customize the message. We can customize what happens when you click yes. And we can grab it from any component. Now, the important thing here is that we make sure that this confirm dialog is rendered somewhere in your tree, depending on where you are. And that's really all. And uh, yeah, as I said at the beginning, Instead of using sustand to create the state and exporting this function, you could create it a React context provider and then do a similar thing where you make it hook based. But um, yeah, using this library, uh, in my opinion, it became a little more clean and we can use this library in other places where we have some client state. And it can make um, the code base a little more clean. Uh, you don't have uh, too much boilerplate that you would otherwise doing state with vanilla React. But uh, yeah, doing it with vanilla React is of course also good. So uh, yeah. That's it for this video, hope you liked it, and uh, see ya.